Hello. Well, it's time again to mark Armed Forces Day. And whilst it's a shame that we're not in Scarborough for the live event that's been postponed again, it's still a very good time to mark our armed forces, uh, the amazing men and women who serve in them, and importantly, just how good they are as employees in a civilian workplace when they do transition and afterwards. So 100 years ago, RFEA was incredibly busy, aftermath of the First World War, helping many, many service leavers get into employment or having been demobilised, also at a time of a, a pandemic, the Spanish flu. So very similar circumstances to today. Now, I know it's been a very challenging last 15 months or so for us all, but there's no time for, for doom and gloom. There's real positive signs. The economy is recovering pretty rapidly at the moment. Forecast unemployment uh, is really down compared to where we thought it might be. And some sectors are doing incredibly well, uh, particularly tech, cyber, distribution, construction, forestry, uh, green industries, and even hospitality. Uh, I'm getting calls from employers almost every day now who are pretty desperate to take on a service lever or a veteran. They can see the skills, the strengths, the resilience, the team skills, the leadership, the trainability, the training, people have been trained and also can train others. They see these soft skills now far more than perhaps they used to. So it's a great period of, of opportunity. Also, Step Into Health, NHS has done an incredible thing about getting so many veterans into the NHS at a time when they really do need it. So it's a time for, for optimism. If you're a service leaver, make sure you're on your seat, signed up with CTP and all the support you get there. If you're a veteran or you're a spouse, uh, do go on our website, RFEA website, uh, to look at all the programmes which are there to support you. And uh, if you're an employer, do take on a veteran. Give them, a, give them an interview. Take them on. They will not let you down. Happy Armed Forces Day. Thank you.